Hey everyone, it's Sergey from Surge. Today I'm going to be showing you a video tutorial on how to create one of these. What this is, is a children's storage seat. Made out of MDF, foam and a bit of fabric. It opens and closes and provides the one storage solution for all your children's needs. What we're going to do is going to show you how to build one of these for your own, very own uh, home and it's going to be beautiful because you can custom design it, make put little decorations of your own on it and you can build it with your children for your children. For all the materials and specifications check out our website www.search.com.au All the materials will be there and specifications of the wood, fabric and foam will be on the website. If you're already on the website click the materials tab and you'll be able to view it all. Now there's also an add to cart feature, so if you do like something in particular that we have used or you just can't find it in stores near you, click the add to cart and we'll deliver it to you. Not personally, but it will get to you via the postman. So let's get started on building the actual box. The project itself may take a day or two. That's because we're going to need to wait a couple of hours in between the coats of paint that we're going to do for the box. So first things first, let's have a look at the tools that we're going to need. We're going to need a drill, a drill bit, and the screwdriver. That's to put the actual box together. And we're going to also need a staple gun. That's to put the fabric onto the lid. And if you can see here, the backboard actually covers it. But we put the fabric in, we put the fabric onto the lid, and use a staple gun to hold the fabric down. Let's have a look at the materials that we're going to need. We're going to need rollers for the painting, screws, we've got two different kinds, 25mm countersunk screws, that's to put the uh, box together, and we also have 13mm panhead screws, that's to put the, the backboard onto the lid. We're going to need a one-step primer. We chose this one here, because it's perfect. We use it before we do any color painting, we put it onto the MDF and makes the colored paint stick onto the wood. Otherwise it would be a very slippery surface. And also because it's white in color, it makes the colors very vivid and very beautiful. We're going to need a color. We chose yellow for girls and blue for boys. You can choose any your kids like or their favorite color. And to complement it, the fabric. Your kids will just love the color scheme that they choose and they will just enjoy using it so much more. A couple more things we're going to need are the hinges. These ones have a special spring mechanism. So if you can see, once we open and close, and once we open, it doesn't uh, fall back down and stays in place. So this is just a little safety thing so no fingers get jammed when they're putting it back down or once it's up already. We're also going to need a wood filler, cover all the holes, make it a very flush surface and we're most importantly going to need the foam. The foam we actually got from Clark Rubber, they cut it to size around $15 and when they cut to size, put the fabric on top, makes it very comfortable to sit on. So if you like any of these materials, Check out our website, surgical.com.au. We've got all the specifications on our website. If you're already on the website, if you just hit the materials tab above, you'll be able to see everything. And if you need anything, you can order them and, we'll and we can deliver them through the post, any individuals or a flat pack piece of furniture. So the first thing we'd like to do is build the actual box. Now for that we're going to need a couple of things and clear the table of everything else. What we are going to need to leave on the table is the 12mm MDF, the drill, the screw bit, the drill bit, the countersunk bit, the 25mm countersunk screws and the clamp. Don't worry if you don't have a clamp, while we are building a box, ask someone to help you out and it will be just as easy as it is with the clamp. Now as you can see, we've cleared the table of everything we're not going to need. Now what I've done is actually placed the base of the box on the table. And what I've done with the clamp is actually placed all the corners surrounding each corner of the base. But I've left a little space to spare so we can go on and slide the sides of the box into the clamp. 
That way the clamp will hold from the bottom and we'll be able to slide the clamp up and screw and drill everything together. Now there we go, now that I've put the box together, all we got to do is drill and screw the box together. So what we just did was we drilled the pilot holes from the front of the box into the sides of the box. And what we're going to do now is use the countersunk drill bit and use the pilot holes as a guide. What the countersunk drill bit will do is once we screw our screws in, it will create a nice flush, even surface on the front of the box and the back of the box. So let's have a closer look at what the countersunk drill bit will actually do. So that's one screw done. Now all we want to do is add to the front and the back of the box, pilot hole, countersunk and screw it all together. And then what we want to do is flip the box upside down so if you do have any uneven edges they will be at the bottom and will be unseen. And then what we want to do is do the same thing, pilot hole, countersunk and screw the base onto the box and the box will be completed. So what I've just done is filled all the holes using our wood filler and given it a quick sand down to get rid of the uneven surface. We've also sanded down the edges so they're not so sharp anymore. Now before we do start painting, grab yourself a cloth and get rid of any extra dust on the box. Once we do that, we can grab our Dulux one step primer and give the whole box one quick coat of paint and we'll do this before we do start painting with any colored paint. So let's wipe down the whole box and paint with our one step primer and then I'll show you what we'll do next. So that's the second side that we've done. Now you'll find it a bit difficult turning it over again because we've just painted on that side so it'll be difficult to do the third and fourth side. So what we can do now is just do the inside. So as soon as the first two sides have dried, we'd have finished the inside and can finish the third and fourth as well. We might have to paint the bottom, but you can if you'd like to. So let's commence painting. Okay, so that's the inside done. Now we can go on and continue the two outside edges that we left off before. Now the paint will take approximately three to four hours to completely dry and 30 minutes to touch dry. So let's go on and finish these two outside edges and now I'll show you what we can do while we let the box to dry. So we've just finished painting our box. Now all we're going to do is build our lid. So I've prepared all the materials that we're going to need. We're going to need our foam and fabric, some safety goggles, staple gun and staples, and we're going to need our top piece of MDF. Another thing that we're going to need is a hacksaw. What we're going to use the hacksaw for is just cut the corners off of our top piece of MDF so they're not so sharp. So what we're going to do is just cut these off for now and then I'll show you how we're going to put our foam and fabric together with our top piece of MDF. So now we've cut all our corners on our top piece of MDF, we can put our fabric, foam and top piece of MDF all together to create our lid. Now firstly we just need to clear out this area and put our fabric upside down on the table. You might need to iron out your fabric in case it does have any creases. Now what we want to do is just grab our foam and position it in the center of our fabric. Then we can just put our MDF on top of the foam. Then 
There we go. So now I'll just zoom in the camera and I'll pull the camera in and I'll show you a detailed step-by-step -step instructions of how we're going to staple our fabric onto our MDF.